Hello and welcome back to India Business Insights. Today we are going to learn about PepsiCo's patent battle and unraveling the Lay's potato controversy. In a legal battle that spans corporate rights, agricultural regulations and the livelihoods of farmers, PepsiCo's patent dispute over its FC5 potato variety has captured headlines in India. Last year, the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Authority revoked PepsiCo's intellectual property protection for the FC5 potato variety, citing Indian regulations. But PepsiCo wasn't ready to back down. PepsiCo, known for its lace chips, relies on the FC5 potato variety for its production. With millions of consumers enjoying lace chips every day, the stakes were high. Facing setbacks in court, PepsiCo appealed to the Delhi High Court for a reversal. However, on January 9, 2024, the verdict came. Honorable Judges Yashwant Verma and Dharmesh Sharma overturned the previous ruling, granting PepsiCo a victory that could shape the future of seed patenting in India. But beyond legal victories, this case underscores PepsiCo's long-standing commitment to working with local farming communities in India, a partnership that dates back over three decades. Join us as we delve into the complexities of this case, exploring its implications for corporate rights, agricultural policies and the people at the heart of it all, the farmers. What was initially celebrated as a historic victory for safeguarding farmers' rights in India has taken an unexpected turn. Recently, a division bench of the Delhi High Court overturned a prior single-judge decision that had upheld the revocation of the patent granted to PepsiCo for a specific potato variety crucial in the production of its popular Lay's potato chips. The legal twist occurring just two years after the initial decision adds a new chapter to the ongoing saga surrounding intellectual property, agricultural rights and corporate interests in the region. An Indian court has effectively nullified a previous ruling that invalidated PepsiCo Incorporated's patent for the potato variety crucial in the production of its renowned Lay's potato chips. In 2021, India's Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Authority revoked the intellectual protection for PepsiCo's FC5 potato variety, citing that Indian regulations did not permit the patenting of seed varieties. This case brings attention to the complexities of India's patent laws concerning seed varieties. Under the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Act, while the registration of plant varieties is allowed, the patenting of seeds presents a nuanced legal landscape. The PPFVR Authority's decision to strip PepsiCo's patent highlighted the ongoing debate regarding the scope and applicability of intellectual property protection for seed varieties in India. The recent court intervention adds a layer of uncertainty to the interpretation and enforcement of these patent laws, impacting not only PepsiCo, but also setting a precedent for future cases involving seed variety patents in the country. Timeline of the case On July 5th, the Delhi High Court delivered a verdict that sent shockwaves through the snack industry, as PepsiCo's appeal for patent rights on its unique potato variety was deemed to have no merit. The legal saga unfolded against the backdrop of the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers Rights Act 2001, that is PPV and FR. PepsiCo's registration for the FL 2027 potato variety, a key ingredient in Lay's chips, was revoked by the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Authority. The PPFVRA cited Section 34 of the PPV and FR Act, outlining grounds for revocation. FL 2027, known as the chipping potato, boasted low external defects, high dry matter and stable sugars, making it a star in chip production. FL 2027, also known as FC5, emerged as a crucial potato variety introduced by PepsiCo in response to a significant shortage of Lay's chips due to crop failure in India. With its lower moisture requirements, FL 2027 became an optimal choice for potato cultivation. Let's have a closer glimpse of the timeline of this case. First, revocation by PPFVR Authority 2023. Last year, the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Authority in India revoked the intellectual property protection for PepsiCo's FC5 potato variety, citing Indian regulations prohibiting the patenting of seed varieties. Second, dismissal by Judge Naveen Chawla in July 2023. 
PepsiCo appealed the decision to the Delhi High Court but Judge Navin Chawla dismissed it in July 2023. Third, appeal to Delhi High Court on January 9th 2024. Undeterred, PepsiCo appealed again to the Delhi High Court to reverse the 2023 ruling. On January 9th, Judges Yashwant Verma and Dharmesh Sharma overturned the decision, granting victory to PepsiCo. Now let's learn about the facts of the case. PepsiCo's FC5 potato variety. PepsiCo has been supplying the FC5 seed variety to farmers who then sell their produce back to the company at a fixed price. This arrangement dates back to PepsiCo's establishment of its first potato chip plant in India in 1989. Legal disputes with farmers. In 2019, PepsiCo initiated legal action against Indian farmers for growing the FC5 potato variety, alleging patent infringement. However, the lawsuits were withdrawn within months. Importance of the ruling. Corporate rights protection. The court ruling reinforces the rights of corporations to protect their patented plant varieties in India, specifically affirming PepsiCo's right to the FC5 potato variety crucial for Lay's chips production. Impact on seed variety patenting. The decision could influence future rulings related to the patenting of seeds varieties, potentially affecting the relationship between corporations and the farming community. Third, PepsiCo's commitment. The ruling also highlights PepsiCo's commitment to collaborating with local farming communities in India, a relationship that has been ongoing since the establishment of its first potato chip plant in the country over three decades ago. But what led to the legal setback for PepsiCo? The court found grounds for revocation based on the protection of plant varieties and Farmers' Rights Act, stating that the unique features of FL 2027 were not distinctive enough to warrant patent protection. The implications extend beyond Lay's chips reaching deep into the heart of the food industry. With this ruling, questions arise about the balance between protecting innovation and ensuring fair access to agricultural resources. Industry players and legal experts are closely watching how this case sets a precedent for future disputes in the agricultural and food sectors. As PepsiCo grapples with the aftermath, the Lay's potato patent battle raises critical discussions about the delicate interplay between intellectual property rights and agricultural policies. In 1999, PepsiCo established a facility in Zahura, Punjab, to develop seeds for its own potato varieties. The FC5, later known as FL 2027, emerged as a standard for chip processing due to its low water content, reaching the commercial use in 2009. In 2016, PepsiCo secured intellectual property rights for FL 2027 under the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights, that is the PPV and FR Act, granting exclusive control for up to 15 years. The company collaborated with local farmers, providing them with FC5 seeds under a legal agreement for exclusive use in Lay's chips. However, a legal dispute. erupted in april 2019 when pepsico sued for gujarati farmers for allegedly cultivating the patented potato illegally the move triggered a national outcry accusing pepsico of strong arm tactics leading to a threat of a boycott under public pressure pepsico withdrew the cases after discussions with the indian government aiming to settle the matter amicably Activist Kavita Kuruganti later challenged the IP rights granted to FC5, arguing that Indian rules prohibit patent on seed varieties. In a significant win for farmers, the PPV and FR authority agreed with Kuruganti's argument, cancelling the certificate of registration in 2021. PepsiCo, in response, filed a petition against the revocation in 2023. However, the Delhi High Court dismissed the petition in 2023, citing a technicality related to the originality criterion. The court highlighted that PepsiCo had incorrectly classified the FL 2027 as a new variety, while it should have been an extant variety. Reports also surfaced that the potato had been sold in Chile in 2002, raising questions about disclosure accuracy. In a controversial move, a division bench of the same court overturned the decision, allowing PepsiCo's appeal. The court reinstated PepsiCo's renewal application, emphasizing a lack of proof that the lawsuits were vexatious or predatory against farmers. As the legal saga continues, PepsiCo's clash with potato farmers serves as a complex narrative.
touching on intellectual property, legal intricacies, and the delicate balance between corporate interest and farmer livelihoods. The final chapter of this story remains uncertain, with implications reaching far beyond the lace chips bag. What is the significance of the ruling? This court verdict holds paramount importance as it strengthens the legal foundation for corporations to defend their patented plant varieties within India. It upholds PepsiCo's rightful ownership of the FC5 potato variety, a pivotal element in the production of its beloved Lay's chips. The broader implications extend to potential precedents for future cases concerning the patenting of seeds varieties, shaping the dynamics between corporations and the agricultural sector. However, it's essential to acknowledge that this ruling may face further appeals, leaving the ultimate resolution uncertain. Furthermore, the decision underscores PepsiCo's ongoing commitment to collaborating with local farming communities in India, a dedication dating back to the establishment of its initial potato chip plant in the country more than three decades ago. The Patent Act of 1970, notably Section 3, Subsection J, excludes the seeds, plant varieties and biological processes for plant propagation from patent eligibility. To align with global intellectual property standards, India enacted the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Act in 2001. This legislation aims to safeguard the rights of plant breeders while promoting the development of new varieties and prioritizing the welfare of farmers. The PBVFR Act permits the registration of varieties categorized as new, extant farmers' varieties or essentially derived varieties, provided they meet criteria such as novelty, uniformity, stability and compliance with specified restrictions outlined in the Act. However, the Delhi High Court overturned a previous ruling by a single judge supporting the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Authority's decision to revoke PepsiCo India's registration for a crucial potato variety used in lace chips production. Justices Yashwant Verma and Dharmesh Sharma nullified the single judge's ruling and the authority's decisions directing the restoration of PepsiCo's renewal application for patent registration. PepsiCo and farmers' rights activist Kavita Guruganti had filed cross appeals against the initial judgment, where PepsiCo's dissatisfaction with the revocation order clashed with Guruganti's argument for maintaining it due to non compliance with the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Act of 2001. The court ruled in favor of PepsiCo, highlighting discrepancies in the initial registration's information and dismissing concerns about eligibility. The court also addressed the potato variety's specific suitability for chip production, emphasizing its unique qualities. The legal battle sheds light on the complexities surrounding plant variety protection and regulatory compliance in the agricultural sector. In India, the legal landscape surrounding plant variety rights diverges from traditional patent frameworks. Instead, the country's approach emphasizes social viability and grants rights to developers of plant varieties. As the legal dust settles and the verdict echoes through the corridors of justice, the conclusion of PepsiCo's patent dispute marks not just a legal triumph but a pivotal moment in the intersection of corporate interest and agricultural regulations in India. With PepsiCo securing its right to the FC5 potato variety, the ruling sets a precedent for the protection of patented plant varieties, reaffirming the importance of intellectual property rights in the agricultural sector. Yet, beyond the courtroom battles, this case serves as a reminder of the enduring partnership between PepsiCo and local farmers. For over three decades, PepsiCo has collaborated with farming communities, enriching livelihoods and fostering mutual growth. As we reflect on this chapter in India's legal landscape, let us not forget the individuals at the heart of it all, the farmers whose labor sustains our food supply and whose resilience shapes our agricultural future. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such informative content. And we'll see you in the next video.